Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about something that I like to think of as acting from a stance of conviction and why that's important and how to be able to know when you're coming from that sort of place. I think first and foremost, with most everything that you do in life, the most ideal stance or situation that you can act out of is from a place of conviction. So in other words, you know deep down in your heart that what you're doing or whatever course of action you're looking to take or whichever direction you're looking to go down, you know, conviction just means that you're, you're dead set on that. And like, like we said, you know deep down in the pit of your stomach and your, your heart of hearts that you're doing the right thing. And, and you're convinced of that first and foremost, most, you know, more so than, than anybody else. Doesn't really, a lot of times even <clears throat> matter that those around you are convinced as you are. It's just as long as you are you have this personal conviction about yourself and what you're doing, your actions. That's that's really, I think, paramount and probably the most important thing as you navigate and advance through life. And just learning how to tune in and know when you're coming from this place is a really pivotal and important thing to pay attention to. And I, I'd been thinking a lot about this lately, and I had wrote an article a little while back I think it was just entitled Thinking Versus Knowing What You Want. And that was the point that I was trying to make is that when you get good at paying attention to the narrative that you're using yourself to describe whatever your wheelings and dealings are in life and whatever you're you're contemplating or whatever you're doing, if you just pay attention to the words that you're using, really tune in and key into those things, <clears throat> that's going to tell you everything you need right there just the manner in which you're thinking about things. So as an example, when you're unsure of something or unclear about something, you'll often find yourself or catch yourself talking and using words such as, well, I think I wanna do this, or I think I wanna do that, or I think I should do this, or I think any number of things. And that in and of itself is, as I said, an uncertainty. That's kind of like a wishy-washy way to, to to look at anything, of course, and it's not always readily apparent, maybe, you know, right right in the moment. But as I said, if you, you stop and think about that and you catch yourself using those words, that means that you're not completely convinced, that you're not necessarily coming from a place of complete conviction on whatever the matter is that you're dealing with. And the sharp contrast to that is just all of what I'm saying here is that when you have that conviction, and you know you're doing the right thing, and you know you're, you're um, yeah, you're, you're, you're steering yourself down the right path in life as far as you're concerned, you'll start to say things and use words and the narrative will sound something more like, I know I want this. I know I should do this. I know that whatever it is, you you know it. Nobody else can tell you otherwise. You're convinced beyond the shadow of a doubt. doesn't matter what opinion your, your friends and family and whoever else is around you and close to you throws at you. You know it. You just know it deep down and and as we said, nobody can tell you otherwise. And that, I think this right here is just part of learning how to get, let's say, good at life and not make missteps when they're not necessary and, and trying to more definitively take steps in the right direction as you see fit in your life. And it just, it is a learned skill, I think, to really pay attention to yourself in this fashion in this sense, it's kind of hard to do. And unless you really take a pause here and there and, and really listen to yourself and listen to the, the words that are going through your mind, it can be hard to kind of make this realization and, you know, have this, this sort of, uh, or, you know, let's say develop this sense about yourself and the way you act and the way you operate in this world here. So I hope that all makes sense. I hope that helps you a little bit. I hope that Maybe you can think about whatever is going on in your life right now and think about the things that you, you think versus the things that you know. And I encourage you to just track, track towards the things in life you know. And no decision made in haste if you, if you um, but yeah, needless to say, if you, you're, you're acting in haste or you're not convinced of something, it usually doesn't turn out the way you want it to and and that's that's hard in life going through those moments so just try to tune into this stuff i hope that helps you guys hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon